Welcome guys to the Simple Dad Life. So today we're going to be reviewing. So we are reviewing the Breville One Touch Coffee House 2. We've been looking for a coffee machine. I would have ideally wanted a bean to cup, but I know 700, 800 quid to play with. So we've got this one. This is from Curry's. This is about £169. I picked it because we like the look of it. I did some research on it, so I'm going to unbox it, put it together, make a brew, and then tell you what I think. Jobs are good then. So this machine will make you an espresso. It will make you a latte, and it also make you a cappuccino. There's different settings on there, which I will go through. Um, I've got some ground coffee to make the... Uh, I'll, I'll probably, yeah, I'll make a latte. We've got some ground coffee. I've also got some coffee beans. Um, I'll maybe do a review on the grinder one day. But uh, let's get this bad boy unboxed. probably saw the absolute struggle of me getting it out of the box that was purely down to me not gonna lie I made a bit of a hash of getting it out so yeah that's why that's why we went fast with that nice and shiny you'll see a lot of um red stickers holding it together and little white stickers there so I'll take all them off and then I'll show you what we got in the pack okay so when you've unboxed this You've obviously got the unit, which I'll go through. This is the, for the steam milk. Top comes off there. Then you've got your settings. So I'll show you that when we're making the coffee. That is for your water. 1.4 liters maximum. Then you've got your puck. So you've got a single and a double puck. Uh, I only ever use double because I like my, the strength of my coffee. I like it strong. So that's cool, that fits in there nicely. Then you've got your coffee scoop. And there's the single scoop if you want it. So let's get this plugged in. Then I can show you how you get it set up. There's about a million of these to take off, but at least you know it's nice, nice and safe. So let's get it set up, then I'll show you how it works. So I filled it up to just in between 0.5 and 1 litre. I use filtered water myself, that's because uh, it's just the way I am. Okay, so this slots into the back there. Make it feel secure, and then you know you're happy with that. Take the top off, off that one, grab your milk, and then put in, put in more than you think, because all you do is you just put it back into the milk. Pop that on like that, then this goes in a sort of an angle. Two pipes and a clip. As soon as it clicks, you know you're in. And then if you can see this, I don't know if you can see it, there's a switch there to turn it on. Let's go. So the on button, just there. Come to the front, you'll see that the light has come on there. And we're just waiting for this bar to go all the way up to there, to the tick goes. So it's warming up the system. Now this gets hot on the top, not too hot, but it gets hot. So what they say is to put a cup on the top of there, whatever cup you're using, it'll just warm it. And it'll obviously make it a better experience for you. So let's wait for that line to, to get along the top and then we'll go to the next stage. So you'll see now that the light has gone all the way across now to the top, which is fantastic. So what you'll see here, that one there is for the espresso. So it says one and two. So if I was to make an espresso, I would press it once for the single shot, twice for the double shot. Next one across is the latte. Again, that's the power of the shot. So if you want one shot of espresso, just press it once, press it twice for two, 
and then the third one's the cappuccino one and a two. Now, if you wanted to add more coffee to your brew, you can press that, and then when you want it to stop, you just press it again, so it's not automatic. That one is there is to add more milk. So you press it once, and when you've had enough milk and throth to go in it, you press it again. At the end, I'll show you the cleaning. That's that button there. But for now, let's get a latte on the go. So we got the coffee, uh, ground coffee. Uh, this is the, my wife's, um, I think it's Lavasa from Tesco's. Uh, I go for a coffee bean and then I grind it in the grinder. Again, I'll show you that maybe another video. So we just use that coffee there. You get your scoop. Then you've got your puck. Grab one part. I don't know if we can see that very well. Pop it in. There you go. I don't know if you can see that. In goes there. Give a little bit of a shake. So on Amazon, I bought one of these things. Now this just breaks the coffee up. Gets rid of any clumps. Stuff like that. So you grab that. In it goes, pop, 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 pop. Break up any sort of clumpage, then you can move that around to make sure the water's gonna go straight through it. Happy days. And then I purchased one of these from Amazon. So this is um, like a stamper. We just need to make the puck really tight. Push it down. Again, something hard, of course. I just done that on the, on the tabletop. And you'll see how flat that actually is. You got a bit of gapage as well at the top. That's what you're looking for. So that's all done. That's all done. Let's get this coffee on the go. So the puck goes under there like that. Get it locked in and push it towards yourself. Obviously, the first time you do it, it's going to be tough. To the right, in it goes. That is really tight on the first time that you do it. So there you go. Next step is pop your cup underneath, move out your hose so that's where your milk's going to come from. So you want to get it underneath and make sure that's aimed towards it. Now, what I said before about those little settings there, I'm going to show you what you do now. So as we're making a latte, you obviously want it to be foamy. So I go for, I don't want a huge amount of foam, but I go to twist it just into the middle there, maybe just before the middle. If you want a lot of foam, you go that far. That's really for the cappuccino. A latte is about the middle. It's about the middle area there. So now we've got to get the latte on the go. Everything's in place. So now, we're going to press that button twice and then we're going to get the latte to kick in. So quick tip guys, because I didn't read the instructions because I'm a man and I know better. You have to prime it before you start. So you fill the milk reservoir and the water tank full to max. Then you press the water button. You run it through to the cups full, stop it. Then you press the throth button, that pumps water through, stop it, get rid of it, and then you should actually do it. So I'm gonna prime it, and when you come back, or I come back, we can actually, I think, make a latte. Right, so we're back. Filled it up with milk, the water is still in there. Coffee has now been placed into the that bit there, can't think what it's called. And uh, what we're going to do now is attempt the latte.
So the first go on it, it's, I, I, I left the, the, that bit to the top. First go. What can you do? So there's probably more throb, but you'll see. Let's see if you can see from there. It looks like a latte, very, very floppy, but obviously you control that with that. So while that's cooling down before I can have a bit of sippage, pull that out, get rid of the puck. You can buy knock boxes or just chuck it into the um, the bin, clear it, clean it out as you do. What you usually do now is you press that button, put an old cup underneath it and it'll wash it through. So take two, leave that in when you do the wash through and just press that button there. Move that switch all the way to the left. Now this will pump water through. And it's clearing the two pipes. The first one will be the milk reservoir. The second one then will be the coffee machine there. So I'll show you this here. So this is where the water goes, the excess water. If you don't unfill it, the water comes up and that little thing there will poke through the little hole there. And that tells you you've got too much water in here, which is really cool. If you're doing an espresso, you can put that there, gets it nearer so you can get a better feed. So there you go. That's the whole cleaning process. Um, let's have a bit of sippage. So that's all done, guys. So you've got your latte. Oh, I'm not, be, I'm not being funny. It's as good as you were getting uh, Starbucks, Costa, Cafe Nero, whatever one you go to. So really, really good. For all the trouble I had doing that, these are definitely worth it. I'll put the link down below in the description. I hope that was a good video. It was difficult. It was an unboxing. I've never done an unboxing before. So I probably won't do one ever again and I'll just review something. But yeah, this is the Breville Coffee House number two. Definitely worth the money. Only £170. I think it's definitely worth it. Brilliant coffee. Mm, tasty the espresso's lovely cappuccino as well guys so i hope you enjoyed this video and uh, it wasn't too bad see you soon